Prince Philip Hospital, why is Duke of Edinburgh in hospital, latest? Prince Philip has been admitted to hospital just months before his 100th birthday. Why is Prince Philip in hospital? Prince Philip has been admitted to hospital in London. The 99-year-old was admitted to King Edward VII Hospital in London on Tuesday evening as a precautionary measure on the advice of his doctor after feeling unwell. The Duke is due to celebrate his 100th birthday in June. A palace spokesperson said, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh was admitted to the King Edward VII Hospital in London, on Tuesday evening. The Duke's admission is a precautionary measure, on the advice of His Royal Highness's doctor, after feeling unwell. The Duke is expected to remain in hospital for a few days of observation and rest. Why is the Duke of Edinburgh in hospital? Buckingham Palace has not commented on why the Duke is in hospital. He and Queen Elizabeth II were both given their first COVID-19 vaccinations in January. It is not yet known if they have received their second dose of the vaccine. The prince retired from public duties in 2017 and rarely appears in public. During England's current coronavirus lockdown, he has been staying at Windsor Castle with the Queen. While the Duke has had a number of documented illnesses over the years, he has remained in good health despite being close to reaching his 100th birthday. He was last hospitalized in December 2019 spending four nights in the same hospital for what Buckingham Palace said was planned treatment of a pre-existing condition. In 2011, he was taken to hospital by helicopter after suffering chest pains and treated for a blocked coronary artery. He also underwent exploratory surgery on his abdomen in June 2013 and in 2014 began using hearing aids. In 2017, he spent two nights in the King Edward VII Hospital and was hospitalized for 10 days in 2018 for a hip replacement. He was forced to give up driving at the age of 97, after smashing into a car while driving a Land Rover near Sandringham Estate in January 2019. The Duke needed help to get out of the car but wasn't injured. He is the longest-serving consort to a monarch in British history. The Queen remains at Windsor Castle while her husband is in hospital.